I'm going to do a quick video on how to find my drone with the new DJI FPV drone. Now the phone is not used to fly the uh, drone, you actually use the goggles of course. But in order to find the drone on the DJI Fly app, you have to have this adapter right here in order to make that connection. If you don't have that with you out in the field, you could be in a lot of trouble because the find my drone function that's in the goggles does not give you the GPS coordinates. It just gives you video of the last uh, little bit of the uh, video. So again, it's really important to bring this with you out in the field because if you don't have it, you're not gonna be able to use that function and you could lose your drone. Okay, if you go into goggles and you go all the way down to settings and then the first one is safety, go in there, go all the way down and it's got find my drone. Now you can go into there and what you're gonna get is just the last few minutes of video that was taken with the drone before it went down but you're not going to get the gps coordinates so that's of a pretty limited value in trying to find out where it is if you're out in the desert everything looks alike so that's not going to work okay i've got the drone set up out here i'm going to walk away about 100 200 feet and see if we can't use the find my drone function to actually find the drone i'm going to go ahead and turn it on first of course okay the drone is right over on those rocks over there. Okay, I've got the iPhone plugged into the goggles. And now we're going to go ahead and hit profile. Comes up with this screen. We go over to the right and under profile. We go find my drone. I'm probably about 200 feet away. Something like that. It's showing me where it is. Let's kind of uh, expand it a little bit here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and walk toward the drone and see if it'll show up that way. Also, you might notice that the uh, GPS coordinates are given over here on the lower left. So you could plug that into a uh, GPS tracker and find the drone that way as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start walking toward the drone. I'll probably speed this up on playback. It's gonna take me a couple of minutes to get to it. Here's the drone. I'm standing right over it. So that's pretty useful. Now, of course, you can expand or contract the screen like that using your fingers. Kind of home in on where it is exactly. You can also use other maps. Now it's got to my drone. I could also use that function to get directly there. And I can also use the start flashing and beeping. That's what that sounds like. All right. And the stop flashing. Now if you tap that little button on the very lower right, you'll see what the drone is seeing. Move my foot in front of it there. That's kind of handy. I can hit the uh, icon above that and it'll show standard mix and satellite. I can hit satellite view. Gives me a nice satellite view of where I'm at. So that's pretty, pretty useful as well. So it probably only works if you have internet or cellular. It shows where I am right now. And there you have it.